Now, in the last video, we were talking about heat absorption and distribution patterns and how they distribute the heat around the world through things like ocean currents and air currents or wind patterns. In this video, we're going to focus on topography. Now, topography is the shape of the, of the Earth. So some places have higher uh, wet mountains and some places have valleys and so forth. Now, interestingly enough, there's something called mountain weather that as you go higher and higher in the mountains, it gets colder and colder. And this has to do with the fact that as air goes higher in the atmosphere, it tends to expand. And then it expands, the particles are hitting each other less, which means there's less heat. And that means that the higher up you go in the troposphere, which is the bottom layer of the atmosphere, the colder it gets. And this actually happens at a constant rate. It, about every 100 meters that you go up, you lose about 1 degree of temperature. So if you go up 1 kilometer, it's about 10 degrees cooler. Some mountains can be 3, 4, 5, 6 kilometers tall, so it gets a lot colder on top of the mountains than it is at the, at the valleys. Now that's interesting then, because as you go up the mountains and you're changing the temperature, yeah, you and also the precipitation usually, what happens is that the, the ecosystem is also going to change. So at the bottom, you're going to have one type, but as you go up, it gets colder and colder, and then the biome of that place will change. And it's actually cool because what ends up happening is that the mountain is like a mini world. You know, at the bottom, you have like a tropical kind of thing. And, but as you move up, you're going to get more dry and more uh, grasslandy. And as you go up on that, you're going to be more alpine weather. And before that, it almost looks almost like polar weather. So mountains go through the same thing that happens as you go up in the latitudes towards from the, from the tropicals toward, towards the uh, polar regions. The same thing happens in mountains when you go from the, from the low elevation to the high elevation. The colder it gets, the more the environment shifts towards a polar-like environment. So that's something that we call mountain weather. So you see the topography has everything to do with what happens to the ecosystem. As you go higher up in the mountain, the ecosystem will change because the temperature is going to be changing too. Another thing that topography does that has to do with temperature is the idea of rain shadow. Now this is actually really cool and the idea here is that mountains block the flow of air and water and around the, the ecosystem. So let's say if you have an ocean for example and there's a lot of water coming off this ocean, a lot of clouds and a lot of rain. But as the wind blows those, those, those things towards the mountains, the mountains force the, the, the clouds to rise. And as the clouds rise, they get colder. But as they get colder, they expand and get heavier, and they actually fall as rain. So the fact that they're being elevated actually causes even more rain to form, and the clouds get so heavy that they end up raining down. So by the time the air goes above the mountain, most of the rain has already fallen. And this causes the leeward side of the mountain, which is the side away from the wind, instead of the windward, wayward side or windward side of the mountain, it causes that to be dry and you know it's going to be desert like so that's like in california for example you have a very nice warm moist beach area where you have like all those uh, wineries plantations and all that stuff and then all the other side of the mountains you have a dry nevada sierra nevada desert because it's dry because the mountains blocked most of the rain so as you can see rain shadow this is what this phenomenon is called also is going to help determine the way the ecosystems work like. While one side is very moist and it's going to create like a forest or a grassland environment, on the other side it's going to be very dry and it's going to be more desert-like environment. So topography is also important for weather, uh, both in terms of altitude and in terms of blocking the weather patterns that happen around the world.